Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to take a look at quite possibly the two most beautiful Rasboras available in the hobby today. The neon blue Rasbora and the neon green Rasbora. So first we're going to take a look at the neon green Rasbora. Obviously you can see why it's called neon green. This fish comes from Thailand. It's found in moderately flowing water, lots of sand, rocks, gravel, things like that. Not a lot of plants. Uh, although it has been introduced to uh, slower moving calm water where there are plants and they do love plants. So while not found in their natural habitat, well rarely found, uh, they definitely do love plants and love heavily planted tanks. So they do get about an inch long temperature wise you're looking at about 70 to 80 degrees pH. They do like it uh, kind of acidic around six and a half, they will go as low as four. They do like to be in large schools so the more you can get the better. So the difference between the males and the females is not a lot. The males do tend to be a little more brightly colored and a little more thin bodied, but otherwise both are going to give you some really good coloration. Now, one thing about these guys is they do not like fluctuating water parameters. So a well-established aquarium is highly recommended for these guys. They have been bred in the hobby, but it's pretty rare. It's not an easy fish to breed. You need lots of peat moss, a really stable tank. Like I said, black water helps. Now, unfortunately, these have not been bred a lot in the hobby, so most are wild caught. They're not the easiest fish to breed, but it has been done, and it could make for a fun project if anyone is willing to give it a shot. You can get away with smaller schools of 8 to 12, but ideally you want like 20 or 30 of these guys in your aquarium, and they just look amazing. So like most Rasboras, these are a very, very peaceful fish. You can see I have them in here with clown killies. I also have blue dream shrimp in here that you can't see but they are in here, little little tiny babies of blue dream shrimp are in here. But there's not much else to say about these fish. I think their appearance speaks for themselves. A small, peaceful, neon green fish. It's just a super awesome fish, what more can I say? So next we're gonna take a look at the neon blue rasbora. As you can see, I have it in here with other rasboras, like the harlequin rasbora. One of the most underrated rasboras I feel is the emerald eye rasbora that you see as well. There really shouldn't be any question as far as which one is the neon blue rasbora. At least I sure hope not. Uh, this fish comes from Bornea. This is going to max out at a little under an inch temperature wise, 73 to 79. Again, like the neon greens, they do like slightly acidic uh, pH all the way down to four, but up to about 6.5, which is what I'm keeping them at here. They do love live foods. Now they will accept flake, but definitely throw in some live and frozen if you have them available. And you know, definitely for a varied diet, they will be very happy. Obviously a very peaceful fish, but it is smaller than your standard rasbora. So keep that in mind if you're looking for tank mates. But uh, as you can see here, other rasboras just fine. Shrimp, uh, corridoras would be great. Any, any peaceful nano fish would do all right. Also, there's going to be varying degree of neonness, if that's a word. Uh, so depending on where they're collected, kind of depends on the color and how much of their body is covered in that nice neon blue. So again, this is one of those species that is really hard to breed in the hobby and it hasn't been done a lot. So like the neon green, most of these are going to be wild caught. So these are schooling fish. So the more the merrier. Bare minimum is eight though. I would never put less than eight in a tank. And all the way up to, uh, in the wild, they can be found in schools up to like 50 to 100. Another thing to keep in mind with this fish being so small, they are very timid, or they can be very timid. And one way to uh, kind of combat that is heavily planted tanks, lots of hardscapes, places to hide, just make them feel comfortable. Floating plants are great with these fish. And obviously other dither fish like the emerald eye rasbora. All right, everyone, that's going to do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget, all of these fish can be found on my website, steenfodaquatics.com. Link down below in the description. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, like, share, subscribe, notification, all that jazz. And I'll see you all next time.